Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Let's go check on some bees right quick. We're gonna do a video update on the uh, the hive that I split that was about to swarm. We're gonna do an update on them, see if the queens hatched out like they were supposed to and went and got mated. Uh, so stick around, we'll see how it worked out for them. There we go. That's how you light a smoker. All right, we got three hives here, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna have to end up moving these today, but I'm gonna check on this one right here. This is the uh, the hive that was about to swarm, and I, uh, I did the little split on it. Got lots of bees. They're very quiet bees, so that leads me to believe first that they're probably got a queen. Normally, if your hive's queenless, when you pop the top on it, they make a lot of noise. And when I say a lot of noise, I'm talking humming. There's a light colored drone. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the bottom box. Not really worry about the top box. We're gonna do a real quick inspection on this just to see what's going on. But I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll take this box, lay it down here, and just look in the bottom box. The chances are, if we got a laying queen, she's gonna be in the bottom where all the bees are at. I didn't put but nine frames back in this box the other day. Note to self. Put another frame in this box. Pollen and nectar. Same thing on that side. Lots of drones. Same thing, pollen and nectar. 
alcohol in the nectar. The queen cells are hatched out and we do have a laying queen. A little bit of brood right here, or uh, eggs and larvae right in here. I'm not really looking for the queen, I'm just looking for where she's been. We got more eggs on this frame too. More eggs than larvae. So I'm guessing that she's just started laying. These are a little bit better looking frames on the outside. I'm gonna move them to the inside. Let's see if we can find the queen right quick. Just to make sure she's in here. I was hoping to see more eggs and larvae in here, but there's not that much in here. But then again, we got some a lot of sales with uh, double laid eggs, so we could very well have a laying worker in here. Sometimes when you got virgin queen or queens that are freshly mated, they'll double up on laying eggs. But I'm thinking we got a laying worker in here. Cause there's a couple of cells in here that's got pollen with an egg on top. That might be good for breakfast, but it ain't good for the bees. But on this side we got just, well there's a couple that's laid out crazy. So this hive's either got a, a very very young queen in it or a laying worker. They got a good amount of uh, bee population. So uh, what I'll do when I get it home, 
is uh, I'll, uh, I'll knock them down to one box. I'll take one of my hives. It's got a... Uh, it's doing really, really good. And I'll slap a, uh, a frame of brood in here. Now what I'm doing, so I don't forget it, is I'm just putting a frame right here in the bottom box. Because it's easier to put a frame in the top when you get it back on than it is in the bottom. You didn't have to break the hive all the way apart. So, I'm thinking we got a layer worker in here. So what that means is either the queen cells didn't hatch out like they were supposed to or they didn't go get bred like they were supposed to. So when I get it back home and get it set back up, I'll show you what I'll do to fix that. So stick around. It's not the outcome I wanted to see, but I mean that's beekeeping. So uh, hope you all enjoyed the videos. If you will, if you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.